Have you ever stepped outside on a sunny day only to find out that it rained later on in the day? Have you ever gone on a picnic and had all of your things blown away by really strong winds? All of these changes have to do with weather and climate. Weather is the short-term conditions of the atmosphere. The conditions of the atmosphere can be sunny, dry, windy, humid, rainy, stormy, snowy, cold, with cloud cover, and much more. So if it's raining, we say that we have rainy weather. If it's really windy, we say that we have windy weather. Scientists have helped develop tools to help us better understand the condition of the atmosphere. For example, meteorologists use a thermometer to tell us how hot or cold the temperature is outside. The units used to measure temperature are Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. Temperature will vary by region, cloud cover, hot and cold fronts, and seasons. Meteorologists can also use an anemometer and a windsock or wind vane to measure the speed and direction of the wind. An anemometer measures wind speed and windsocks and wind vanes show us in which direction the wind is blowing. Hygrometers are used to measure the amount of humidity or water vapor in the atmosphere. A rain gauge can be used to measure the amount of rainfall or precipitation. It is a tube that collects rain and measures precipitation in millimeters and inches. Using these types of tools, scientists are able to create weather maps and predictions that show us what the atmospheric conditions are and what they will look like in our region and even around the world. This helps meteorologists give a forecast, which is a prediction based on the conditions of the atmosphere at a specific place and time. This allows for us to better plan our days since we know what the weather might look like today, tomorrow, and even in the future. So what happens if the weather doesn't change much? What if it's sunny all the time, or what if it's always cloudy and rainy? If the conditions of the atmosphere are generally the same for an extended period of time, we call this climate. For example, the atmospheric conditions of a desert are dry and hot for long periods of time. Even if it were to rain or snow a few times a year, the dry hot weather would always return. We would call this the region's climate. Climate is the kind of weather you can usually expect in that region. Some places have cold and snowy climates. Although the sun sometimes warms up the area, the majority of the time it will be cold and snowy. Let's review what we've learned. Weather is the short-term conditions of the atmosphere. Climate is the long-term conditions of the atmosphere in a specific area. The conditions of the atmosphere can be rainy, cold, hot, dry, humid, windy, snowy, cloud-covered, stormy, and more. Meteorologists help predict the weather by using scientific tools that give us a forecast a thermometer tells us the temperature of the atmosphere in Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. An anemometer measures wind speed and a windsock or wind vane measures wind direction. Hygrometers measure the amount of humidity or water vapor in the atmosphere. A rain gauge can be used to measure the amount of rainfall or precipitation. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.